Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the gear cushions on your Sony here on MDR 100 ABN. So I've had these pair of headphones for more than four years. That's for sure, more than four years. And if you've been following the channel, you've known that I've been uh, trying out many other headphone products uh, like the AirPods, uh, the Galaxy Buds Live and so on and so forth. So I've actually been neglecting these pair of headphones but uh, I honestly really love them and I've uh, really taken care of them really well but however the last week or so when I opened up the case to actually get, give this a charge I realized that the ear cushions were actually worn out because of the age of these uh, headphones uh, they all started to break apart and uh, I wanted to find replacements for them so I contacted Sony Malaysia and surprisingly enough they were out of stock for the original uh, replacement uh, cushions. So I just headed on to Shopee in fact because I actually rarely use Shopee and I went ahead and searched up ear cushions for this pair of headphones because there are actually two types. One without the clips you see right here and there are a couple of others with the, the frame I should say to actually just uh, plug and play this new set of Ear cushions so these coming pretty cheap i bought this for around 28 ringgit i believe around that including free shipping as well so it's a pretty good deal i'm sure the sony ones cost way more uh, because you know first party replacement accessories right so now that they are here we're going to see how these stack up against the original ones uh, i actually use these headphones uh, quite a lot uh, these headphones really still do hold up even after four to five years I, have, I feel that the noise cancellation on these, uh, the sound quality on this is on par with many of uh, the current uh, mid-range headphones. So if you like a flat sound signature, definitely this pair of headphones are a good choice even in this year and you can get them really cheap. But of course you do need to check the condition and also the battery life. Uh, of course it does not have the bells and whistles of USB-C uh, app support and stuff like that. But so far so good, it has been holding up really well. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to today's video, which is replacing the ear cushions. So to replace the ear cushions, you do have to pull them off. Something like what I'm doing here, you have to release all the clips. I was really uh, afraid to actually do it uh, when I first tried it. I thought I'm going to break them or something. But anyways, this are uh, how the drivers on the inside look like. And I, I really like the way that Sony implemented the replacement of this. Of course, not like the AirPods Max, that is like magnetic and stuff like that. But with this, it's just all clips. Uh, but definitely, you do not want to keep on uh, removing and uh, installing them back because they will definitely ruin the clips eventually. But uh, since I've opened it only like what twice, this has really held up well. Okay, let's compare the original ones that came with my headphones you can see how bad the condition is already really like peeling off it's on my fingers as well and let's compare let's see whether these look alike because yeah they actually definitely look really good the foam on this is different slightly different in terms of color but uh, in terms of feel they are both really soft the reason the foam is very important is because you do want a good seal uh, because these are noise cancellation headphones and you do want a very good seal on the ear cup itself to ensure that there are no uh, leakages in the sound so these are really nice uh, very OEM in fact the replacement ones uh, of course they are pretty cheap as well you can see the netting the netting is slightly different this is more on the looser end uh, this is more stiffer but I bet there won't be any difference in terms of sound quality but overall really nice let's take a look at the front in fact I feel that this look really good really good in fact uh, for cheap uh, China replacements are there any differences besides that of course there are some holes here I'm not sure what this is for but there are no holes on this one let's check out the other one nope there are no holes on here as well of course you do have to follow the shape you can see it looks like a inverted egg upside down egg so you do have to make sure that the sharper portion is on the bottom so the way you can see right here the sharper portion is definitely at the bottom 
I'm gonna just remove the other ear cup as well. Let's do the same thing. Okay, so installing it, you do have to make sure there's an upside down egg shape. So you can see right here. Okay, so it's ready in, I guess. Yep, it's ready in. Well, that was actually pretty easy. I think the top still holds well, so I was good. Okay, let's install the other side. And this is how you do it. Get a snap. And you're good to go. In terms of the color wise, in terms of thickness, uh, the replacements are thicker, that's for sure. You can see right here, they are thicker. But the overall material is more or less the same. These are slightly more firm. But the thickness is something you do have to take a look. You can see right here, for a millimeter or two thinner on the original ones. Or the replacement ones are slightly thicker. Let me put it on and see how it feels. So the feel on these uh, replacement ones are pretty good. I mean, for the price, it's really good. Uh, it feels very OEM. I don't really notice the difference in the thickness. But I bet when this pair of cushions settle in, it will be around the thickness of this, I guess. Alright, so in terms of replacements, I definitely do give this a go. And uh, I'll leave the link in the description below if you do want to purchase this. So I'll find some Amazon links to... So I'll find some Amazon links for you guys uh, overseas. But for Malaysians, you can actually pick this up from Shopee and I'll leave the link in the description below. So overall, I'm really satisfied with this product and I'm really happy that I can be using this pair of headphones again because it's been a while. And I think overall, this is my go-to headphones for the time being. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you guys like it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next video.